Good evening. I'm Aliyah Van Ostrand. Red River in the city claimed trash collection and the city is improving. Last month, Red River didn't pick up 2,500 people's trash or recycling on their scheduled day. That's down from the 3,000 missed pickups in June and only counts for about 2% of the city. But many people expect that number to actually be higher. Fox 55's Cody Butler has more. Red River says service is improving because the calls to 311 are actually going down. But here on the southwest side, people are taking matters to their own hands, posting signs to try to get drivers' attention. It's a hit and miss. Pickups can be three, four, four days out. Kathy Beckman lives near Time Corners on the southwest side. She put up this sign a few weeks ago showing Red River drivers. There are trash cans on the side streets in her neighborhood. It's just inconsistent, inconsistent. Each time her trash is still at the curb on Saturday morning, she's calling 311. And I wait on the line till I actually speak to someone because I'm tired of it. We're all tired of it. Everyone's tired of it. And that's the message Councilman John Crawford is also hearing. That's why he thinks the problem is actually worse than what the city and Red River realize. They want her to call in the neighborhood thinking that's fine. A lot of people call 311 and after 10 or 15 minutes they give up. The city's contract with Red River specifies fines are based off the complaints into 311. For those numbers to be accurate, everyone who is missed needs to call themselves. You can do that on the city's website. Just click 311 and miss trash. Beckman says she's trying to spread the message in her neighborhood, too. I've told our neighbors around here, you know, call. Make sure you call. In the meantime, her sign is staying posted on her tree. I think they've had long enough. To, to work out all the kinks. Again, if your trash or recycling is not picked up on your scheduled day, call 311. If you don't want to wait, you can do it on your smartphone or on the city's website. In Fort Wayne, Cody Butler, Fox.